Just a quick note before this free video. If you click like and subscribe, I'd be very thankful. So Roman and Jimmy arrive. They run into Jay. He and Roman have a stare down. Jay goes to leave. Roman grabs him. Roman says, I'm proud of you, Jay. We all are. And Jay looks at him and then says, no yeet. And he leaves. And Roman turns to Jimmy and he says, I told you. He walks off. So Nia's on the phone with Tiffany. It was supposed to be Nia and Tiffany teaming up, but apparently Tiffany, I presume, legitimately has the flu because she's not there. Maybe COVID. And so, yeah, it could be COVID. And so, I, mean, I don't uh, know that. I don't know that, but it's like it, it is going around, so it is possible. So Nick Aldis Ald is writing in a journal, and Nia says, you're going to have to cancel the match. And he says, no, I'm not canceling the match. He says, we have a very deep roster. Find another partner. And so Candice and Indy walk in. Candace says, I was the first women's speed champion. I'd love to team with you. Alda says, looks like it's booked. And so Nia says, you better hold up your end of the bargain. Because if you don't, I'm going to end you. And it's not going to take three minutes. We had Piper Niven and Lash Legend. Apparently, Metaphor are now main roster. Like, they're on every show now. Yeah, they are. Yeah. So they do this match. Uh, Chelsea jumps up on the apron. Jakara beats her up. Piper squashes Lash, tries the Vader bomb. Lash pins her. Moves out yeah. of the way and pins her. Hits her finish. Yeah. So, uh, I wouldn't have called these two up yet, quite frankly. Like, Lash no, has improved a lot, yeah. but... I, I wouldn't have called him up either. Yeah, seems early to me. Yeah. So, Roman's backstage. Jimmy shows up. He says, you gotta talk to Jay. Roman says, no, we don't need to. We talked to him. He made it clear. You did it your way. Now I'm gonna do it my way. I'm gonna fix this. And Jimmy says, what are you going to do? Roman says, tonight I'm going to acknowledge Solo. Cody came out for a promo. It is a very by-the-numbers promo for the match at uh, Crown Jewel. He wants the belt. He wants his he was talking about all these, daughter to know. that These matches that, that never happened that actually did. <laughs> yeah, he was mentioning. Except Goldberg and Steve Austin. Goldberg and Steve Austin. But when he not... said that, I thought, is that what they're going to shoot for this year? Oh, well, God, I hope something. not. Yeah, I hope not. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They mentioned Race and Bruno, which they had a 60-minute draw in St. Louis. And Flair and Bockwinkel, who did a double count out in uh, Winnipeg. Um, I saw both those matches. But, uh, you know, um, so he was talking about, like, those dream matches that, that never happened that did. And then he kind of said, like, but they were unsatisfactory uh, outcomes. So I guess you could say that. They were unsatisfactory outcomes. I mean, in the sense that nobody won those matches. You know, I went to the gym this weekend, and they had a uh, they were they were doing some silent auction or something, mm -hmm. and uh, among the items was a signed Cody Rhodes, uh, like an autographed picture, I think from WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. Actually, took a picture of it, and uh, so there was that, and there was also a Ronda Rousey autograph photo. Mm -hmm. These were both at the uh, yeah framed autograph photo, one of Cody Rhodes and one of Ronda Rousey. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was at the gym, mind you. Would you would you like to guess whose was uh, more expensive? The opening bid? Mm, I have no idea. Who do you think? Cody Rhodes or Ronda Rousey? What kind of gym? It was uh, like, uh, you know, um, LA Fitness. Mm, probably Ronda Rousey. Incorrect. It was Cody Rhodes? By double. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was, yeah. I was interested to see that. But uh, I didn't bid. Then we had, uh, anyway, he wants... You know, what, you, know, you, know what, you know what I just got today? What's I that? I got a present today. Um, I have to look up where it's from. I was given a story of, of the person who took the picture. Um, but I, I have to check out if it's legit. But the picture was, um, it looked like, say, 76-ish, 77, Portland Wrestling. Um, it was Andre the Giant... Beautiful Bobby Remus, who's of course later became Sergeant Slaughter, uh, Jonathan Boyd, Lord Jonathan Boyd, and um, who was the fourth guy in the picture? Apache Bull Ramos. And it's like, where the hell did you get this? It's actually from my family. Where the hell did you get this? Because you know, I I don't like getting wrestling gifts, but I actually you know, you know, this big frame picture of of Portland wrestling from from then. It was kind of like intriguing, and they told me that. A rock star had taken the picture, and that's why they got it. What? A rock star from the UK had gone to Portland and shot the picture, and they'd gotten, you know, I guess a copy of the picture. 
Huh. So I have to I have to look this up to see if this is legit. Wow. Yeah. How about that? A UK rock star. A UK rock star. Went to see was Portland. It, was it Paul Went McCartney? See... No, it was not Paul McCartney. No. no. That'd be a hell of a story. No, 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 no. I'd no, put no, a bid no. in on that one. No, it was absolutely it was nobody it was it was it was absolutely not Paul McCartney or anyone or it was not Mick Jagger. It was not anyone of that ilk. Mm. So well, but but it, but apparently it was a name that that was um, pretty famous, but but not that famous, like medium famous. Well, we finally had footage of Kevin turning on Cody a fan cam, and then Kevin does a video that they aired, and he said, "Been a lot of ups and downs over ten years." WWE telling me to stay home and not come to work because what I did to Cody is so unfair. Look at what we have seen people do to each other in and out of the ring. Ambushes, beatdowns. He didn't mention murders on NXT. Yeah. He says, I get told to stay away because I dropped their golden boy outside of a stupid bus. He says, it makes me ask myself how appreciated and valued I am. But I can live with that. What I can't live with is what Randy did to me. I can't believe he betrayed me like that. He says, some people will say, think of all the friends that you turned on. He said, well, maybe that's true. But I'd never have done that to Randy. Didn't he turn on Randy? He says, I can't believe you picked Cody over me. Mm-hmm. And says, with everything that's happening now, I don't know if or when I can come back. This guy's a great promo. Yeah. Randy met with uh, Aldis. He says, I want this guy at Crown Jewel. Aldis says, can't do it. Randy says, I didn't ask permission. I want this guy at Crown Jewel. And Aldis says, I can't do it. It's coming from above. So Randy says, well, I guess I know who I need to talk to. So if if they're actually going to do that match, Kevin has to beat him. Well, sure, of course. Yeah, Kevin. In the beginning, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had Eight Town down under the Garzas and the debuting Motor City Machine Guns. And man, these machine guns are great. I know that's news, but uh, I thought they were great in this match. They did they combo did. Neck, neck breaker, big splash for the pin. So happy to see these guys finally. Let's make mm-hmm. some big money in this business. Mm-hmm. They did great. So they'll be facing uh, DIY next week. They'll have a good match. Winners will get killed by the uh, bloodline. So Yeah, yeah. They'll have a good match. Oh, yeah. They finally announced, officially, it is a best of seven. Mm-hmm. And the final match is next week. Andrade and Carmella got into an argument. And LA Knight's going to be the referee. Yep, yep. They announced that later on. So that, that screws that match. Yeah, it probably won't be as good. Yeah, be my guess. It'll all be it'll be all about the referee. Then we had Bailey and Naomi versus Candice and Nia. Candice is replacing uh, Tiffany, and they end up outside. Indy posts Bailey behind the referee's back. Candice throws her in the ring, hits a lion salt, and pins her. Yep. Candice won. Yeah. I was she, shocked. She's got. She's a champion. By the way, in Cody's promo, he used the word belt when they showed the big guy. Oh, belt. he's in big trouble now. Man, he said belt. I couldn't believe he was. Well, that thing, belt. quite frankly, is not a championship. That's a belt. Yeah, That's a all... big old belt. Yeah. So then Nia is pissed off, I guess, because Candace got the pin and not herself. Hmm. So Roman came out to do a promo. He said, maybe for the last time, I want you guys to acknowledge me. So they did. Solo comes out. Roman says, you told Jay earlier the family was stronger. The bloodline is stronger, but I don't see it. I don't see anything that's better off now. If anything, we're divided and broken. So I told my father I could fix this. All I want to do is put us back in the promised land. I want titles around our waist, paydays from the heavens. Tell me what I got to do to fix this. And Solo laughs and says, just acknowledge me. So Roman gets to Mike and he stands there for a long time. And then he says, I acknowledge you. Does that make you feel better? And Solo says, no, that's not good enough. You need to acknowledge me as your tribal chief. And so uh, he says, you either acknowledge me as a tribal chief or else. And Roman gets pissed off and says, or else what? And Solo says, I knew you'd never change. You always wanted this Ula Fala. And since you never change, I'll never change either. And he snaps his fingers and the Tongans drag Jimmy down to the ring. So now the fans are like going nuts. They want G- they want Jay. They're chanting Yeet. So Solo goes after Roman. But of course, Roman beats his ass. Tongans hit the ring. Roman takes them out. Lays out Jake with a lariat, solo with the punch. He goes to the Ulafala, he puts it on, but then he gets jumped from behind. They all start beating him down. Fans are screaming for Jay, but uh, Jay doesn't show up. 
So the show goes off the air with Roman beaten down for, I think, the third show in a row. So they got, like, what, six weeks, five weeks left? November 30th. Yeah, they got they got, they got got a little more time to drag this out. They got time, But yeah. uh, you know it's coming. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. That'll be quite the storyline to get Sammy involved, since Sammy was mad at Jay mm-hmm. for... Like no, Sammy and Jay made up. They were going for the tag team titles until they dropped that story. Line. Well, they made up, but for a while there, they were not on, not yeah, on good they, terms. But but the, lately they've been on good terms. Yeah, but now the, Jay's going to want to go back with Roman. Well, that was Sammy's whole problem in the first place. Yeah, so that'll be something. I guess they got six weeks. Well, it was Jay's there. problem too. That's true. Yeah, it was Jimmy's problem too. Seems to be everybody's problem. Yeah, but they are they're all going to get together now. Some of them are anyway. We know Jay is for sure. Oh yeah. They're they're building that one up big. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.